Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our DLC run, which, uh, apologies for the previous video that had my other overlay for my Pointless Challenges run. But we're back, and, uh, we are right now at cycle 80 as it just rolls over. Let's take a look at, uh, what has changed, and we will go on some crazy adventures today, so... Let's just talk about some of the overhead stuff. Definitely got the bathrooms up and running, so those are all good to go. Plug slugs uh, area just got finished. This looks a little bit different than what we were setting up before because I was not setting it up the greatest way before, but we're set up now. Uh, looks something like this. I just have an area where I will bring metal to every once in a while when I notice that it's running out. And I have a setup up here to capture hydrogen that's connected to a gas element sensor. Hydrogen generators over here, so we're getting a lot of power. I also have a lot of batteries too Just to make sure we're capturing as much power as possible and not uh, Overfilling too much because otherwise that would be a waste of what we currently have I've also gotten some comments on these by the way from other players who have played a little bit deeper than this uh, Which I really appreciate by the way Saying that the plug slugs have a definite ceiling. They use up a lot of metal um, and they don't actually provide a good trade-off later in the game. So I think this might be the only chamber I have. And just because of that feedback, I'm probably just going to set this down to maybe like five. Because this is already producing a lot of power. Um, and I don't need a tremendous amount, and it will grow. But this may be where I, about where I leave it. So we'll find something to do with that. Also, we got a refrigerator up, by the way. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, we do have pollution in here occasionally, only because there is a little bit of polluted oxygen that will eventually get cleared out, by the way, so we will handle that. Uh, there's also a couple of restrictions that I'm noticing on this right now, and this is going to lead us perfectly into the next part. That is that if you look at these caustic biomes, there's a bunch of them, and I see exactly, precisely, zero Drecos, meaning that there is no way for us to make suits, there's no way for us to get plastic, at least for as far as I know, because I haven't seen oil either. Um, which means that we are hitting a ceiling on what's possible on this asteroid. Uh, which is going to be a little bit of a teaser as far as what we're going to be doing uh, very shortly. So hang on to that thought. Talk about a couple of other small uh, changes here. And we will go on an adventure. So I have stopped trying to dig into these colder biomes only because I have no idea what's above this. And it seems to only get colder the further I go up, so I don't want to mess around with that too much. Uh, there's also a hot area down here, which you can start to see magma and stuff like that. I could get power off of this, but I just don't have the tools right now. So that's going to be a uh, objective that we try to go for later. Probably when we get steel and plastic up at minimum for the, the steam turbines. So we will need that. All right, no more playing around. Here's what we're doing today. We're going to be sending a duplicate through this teleporter. Uh, just to see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen, but the thing that I'm trying to understand is that uh, this is a separate asteroid, which I think is where we're going to teleport to. Um, I'm guessing we're going to teleport somewhere towards the middle, because teleporting onto the surface would be pretty bad. Uh, you'd have to dig pretty far before you got to any oxygen, so I don't think that they would do that. Uh, so I'm guessing we're going to teleport into the middle, and... We've also noted that we are severely lacking any critical resources that we would need to venture out from this area, so we will need to teleport anyway. So I feel like that time is now, so let's find somebody to send. Um, who do we want? Wait, who's down here already? Uh, do I want to take them? Sure, why not? Alright, tiny blump, you're going on an adventure. We're assigning you to the teleporter, only because you happen to be the person in the area at the time we decided to go. Definitely the best and most empirical process to do so. All right, here we go. Uh, teleport. Okay, and here we are. Okay, we're at the other destination. There's some beds. There's an artwork that's not done. Definitely somebody left this here. Oh man, this is crazy. Oh, you know what else this might be for? Wait, does this take us to the same place? Okay, this should take us back, I think. So, we're now set up with a duplicate on the other asteroid, which there's oil here. Looks like there's a starting biome area over here. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it's called. I haven't looked at the files in a hot minute to see what they're actually named in the files. There's like a little... Is that a bug here? Is like something grown over the top of this? Or does it just look weird? Huh. Anyway, so we have... Oh, what's this? Defrost a friend. 
All right, sure, let's do that. Looks like we're getting some oxygen down here, so that's good. Who did we get? All right, cool. Jean is thawed. Containing a Jean duplicate, blah, 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 blah. I have no idea what kind of stats this person's gonna have. Let's see what we got. So, looks like they have some machinery bonuses. They don't like that. Uh, they're a plant murderer, so that's not great. Uh, Sparkle Streaker. None of this is really super important because they don't get up there super often. Okay, cool. So we're finding some new stuff here. Yeah, like, there's stuff here that I, like, can't dig out. Definitely some buggy behavior, but considering this is early access, you kind of got to expect that. All right, so the things to think about here is if we're basically starting on a new asteroid while our other one is running at the same time. So we're going to have to check back and forth quite a bit. Uh, but I guess the idea is to become sustainable here to the point that we can start getting the things that we need. Um, the other thing that's kind of... Well, this is just ethanol gas. Holy crap, this is really hot. Oh, man. Uh, 400 degrees. Wow. Okay. Um, not going down there anytime soon. Uh, the other thing I was going to talk about is uh, these supply teleporter inputs and outputs. Um, I'm pretty sure... We check back to the other one. We've seen both a receiver and a sender, and it would only make sense if these sent and received to places that were not each other, because, like, teleporting from here to here doesn't make any sense. But teleporting from another planet or asteroid to here or here makes a lot of sense, because then you can transfer stuff back and forth. So I think that's what we're going to start trying to aim towards in this video, getting these things operational and kind of figuring out how they work. So let's jump back over here. We need to start planning out what to do over here, and if these two are going to live here temporarily, which or permanently, whatever, uh, we need to start setting some of that stuff up. So, things we always do first, besides this, I don't want to start opening this up. This is all really hot. This is going to heat up too. Should probably get some insulated tiles replaced down here as soon as we can. But the first thing we need to do is we need to set up some bathrooms. So let's have these guys just start digging like a normal run. There is a little bit of sandstone, I think, or we can start getting rid of some of this tile. I don't really need that. Might as well deconstruct the door, too. And then we'll just start settling kind of down in here and see what we need. Uh, there is a bunch of food that's planted here, so we will need that. Uh, I could start growing mealwood here as well. But this is going to be interesting. Uh, here we go. And if we need to send these guys back for whatever reason, like if they start dying horribly, we can always send them back to the other colony. Uh, and I don't think there's any expense to using this, so I hope I don't have to get stuck, but if I do, then we'll still be okay, I think. Alright, so we got that. Let's build a couple ladders. Got it down to this area so we can at least get some food. There also apparently is some food here that spawns, so that will be useful. Yeah, let's start digging down there. It's like we're starting all over. I'm also on the far left side of the map, so this is interesting. What do we have to work with? There's no Drekos that I see, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, just start digging upward, I guess. This is going to be a very messy base for the time being. And I don't want to dig into this water and start making a big mess there. So let's dig to the bedrooms. And then maybe up to this. There we go. That way we can at least send ingredients back and forth. There's also some planter boxes here. Is this cold? No, this is a regular temperature. Oh, I don't know if any of these guys have the skills that I need. Also, I don't have... Ooh. Here we go. Let's place one of these. I was just about to say, I don't think that we have uh, a place where they will be able to get skills to be able to dig through that. So let's go ahead and build one so that we can start assigning, assigning this stuff to, uh, to Jean, or I'm going to call him now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Activate, I think. I don't know what this means, but let's activate. You need to submit a bioscan. Pressing buttons. They're doing all kinds of hand movements. I have no idea what they're doing. Doing some kind of dance. And hooray! There we go! Alright. So. They didn't refresh their menu. Small bug there. I'd like to file a bug. Uh, duplicate skills. Oh, I can access anybody. Okay, cool. Uh, John doesn't have enough. 
Operator is not going to get the same morale they were getting before, which means I need a place to eat on this area so I can keep my morale up. Um, we need decor, which we'll be able to grab from these. We need... Uh, yeah, we'll have plenty, I think. I need metal. That's the only thing I don't have here, so there's at least some up here. Guess we'll just keep on keeping on. We dig these out. Those are not going to grow very well. Like I said, this area is going to be kind of a disaster for a little while. Uh, we'll get it fixed. We also need sustainable oxygen here, too, and sustainable power, because this oxalite's only going to last for so long. Well, let's check back to the other one and see what's happening over here. Uh, are these guys... These guys are idling, so I definitely want to keep this up. This is going to be a weird juggling back and forth. Uh, I've never had to do this before, so hopefully we'll be able to stay on top of this and know how we're micromanaging things. But what I wanted to do here... So I wanted to start messing around with these plants a little bit more, uh, these grub fruit plants. We have a couple here, but it's getting too cold for them, so I want to move them and start ranching some of these guys. So let's start setting some of this stuff up too. Get some of that, some of this. I'm going to try to only keep a handful of critters here because I don't need a tremendous amount. Um, I also, this is something I need to think about too. Presumably, I'm going to need colonies to specialize in certain things. And I don't know what that's going to be yet, but this could potentially just specialize in food, so I don't need to actually do much of anything as far as growing food on the other asteroid. I could just ship it there um, so that when we get it, we could just put it... Uh, I guess this is not a receiver. This is a sender. We need to find the receiver, but I could build my great hall somewhere near that so that food gets dropped off, uh, we could automate it so that it loads into, like, a box or a refrigerator or something like that to hopefully hopefully preserve it. And then uh, this colony won't have to worry about food at all. If we wanted to get really silly, I guess if we could transport solids, we could also transport, like, bottles of oxygen. Like, you could, there are auto bottlers and stuff like that that you could use for that or at least canisters that you could empty out and then ship over. Um, that would be kind of funny. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do something like that, because I don't have to. But definitely opening up the ideas of what we could do with something like that. At least I'm pretty sure you can ship containers of oxygen. I've never tried to do that before. I'd probably need it, but, uh, it might show up in miscellaneous. Well, we might have to mess around with that, just to show that we can do it. But I will also need to get here, so I need to worry about this, too. I did dig out a little part here to get up to the other side, but this seems pretty inefficient. So, I don't want to release all this water. Hmm. This is not super clean. This is to send, and this is to receive. So, we might as well just solve one at a time. Man, this is hard to think about. Alright. Um, start setting up some sedimentary rock here. We'll probably want to insulate all this so that whatever gets sent doesn't get temperature changed too much if we don't want them to. Oh, boy. This is going to be an experience. Um... Let me actually sidebar this. I'll try to make the other colony sustain for right now. We'll worry about capturing these later because we don't even have a way to send it full circle yet. Um, let's get these grub fruit plants up. So let me dig these up. And let's assign it to here. It's probably plenty. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. All right. So we got both sides going on at the same time. Get these guys digging up here. I am going to just set up a great hall for the time being, only because I need the morale right away. So let's set up a door, let's set up a tile, and this might be enough. Does this actually produce decor? Yeah, maybe. And then we're going to need some furniture, such as mess tables, which we don't have the metal ore for, so we definitely need that. There's a big pocket of metal ore here. Maybe I'll just start digging up into this. Man, we are really running out of supplies. Also, this will print every once in a while, so I don't know if it's worth it for me to continue to take duplicates here yet. Um, and we do need sustainable oxygen, and we need power here. So, considering those are the first things we need to solve, we actually need to back up a little bit. Um, once, our f once we do get enough metal, let's start setting up power. We don't need research here, so that's good, but we do need oxygen, so we'll set up those two things. This is also going to be a big problem. I can't dig down... That means all of my carbon dioxide is going to settle right here. So maybe this is a bad idea for where to put this. A 
We are really having to improvise here. There we go. And then we might as well just make this cut straight across. If we don't have to go down in that pit. Oh, another thing we need to do. <laughs> She's just eating on top of the door. I think Tiny Blump is just showing off at this point. One thing we need to do is we need to wall this off with insulated tile. This is just going to heat up over time, and I don't want that to happen. You can already see it getting kind of hot. They're sleeping on the ground. Oh, there's a lot of work to be done here. All right. Who's sleeping over here? I should probably break up these up into different schedules, but it looks like our room's done. So let's go ahead and grab this guy and this. Probably only want a handful of these. I don't want too many. I need a place to drop these guys off to to kill them uh, so I can get the extra meat. I don't have shipping up, so we can't do that yet. Let's just start moving these guys. All right, so we're growing the grub fruit plant. We should have plenty of uh, sulfur to keep this up over a little while. So let's see. Wherever it might be, probably in raw mineral. No, I don't know where this is. Fortunately, we can search. Sulfur. This is in miscellaneous. Okay, we have a good amount, so that's fine. This will be our food for these guys. And I believe the these guys actually eat it. So we will need food troughs or whatever we want to call it here. Something like this. This will also be... Uh, we need more space for this. Let's just deconstruct a bunch of these. I wish... So here's one thing I wish that we had. I can't build tiles over this again, but I can do the opposite. So, like, I could build tiles on top of here. But I can't build tiles back onto here. And if I want to switch them back and forth, it's always really annoying to have to do that. So... Do we not have a rancher here? Oh, no. Is that just outside the stable? Alright, what other skills can we get? And this is going to be a lot of pausing while we try to juggle these two sides. This will also be good kind of later in the game, and I kind of feel like that's what the whole point of this idea was, is because there's a lot of dead time while you're waiting for stuff to get done. But if you're waiting for a bunch of stuff to get done on several different asteroids, and that's a totally different story. So that'll be really helpful once we can get there. These guys will also have beds once we dig up there. Oh, did I never build bathrooms? Oh. What am I doing? All right, time to get some outhouses going here. It's an emergency. Should be able to get down there. There we go. Now at least John will be able to use it. Yeah, gonna change that sad face into a happy face. There we go. We made a mess, but we cleaned it up. We're getting some idle warnings over on the other asteroids, so that will be useful to help navigate us. Let's make a bunch more of these. There we go. This guy's getting groomed. It's huge. It doesn't even fit on the station. What else can we do here? Let's try to stay on task. Uh, I guess we could start building out to these because we know we're going to need to do that, and I don't really know what else to do here. Um... At least not right now, because I'm so distracted. Oh, I can see the surface! That was interesting. I don't know why I can all of a sudden see it. Probably because I'm on the other asteroid. So, this looks like it's pretty much it. Um, there's no reason for me to dig through this anymore, because I know exactly what's up there, so I'm going to cancel all that. We need suits. I think that should be our biggest focus. Um, so that means I need to find Drekos, or I need to find a way to start getting oil. But I needed suits before I can really start getting oil because it's so hot. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, this is still just as hot as it always was. So getting oil is not exactly something that's super accessible. Eh, this is another idea. Um, can you ship critters through this? I don't think you can. That would be pretty funny. You could ship eggs, though. So if we ship eggs, um, we could capture one of these guys and start ranching it. We do have a fair amount of carbon dioxide built up in these tanks here, so that will be kind of useful, maybe. I will need a place to be super hot here, so this is probably not the right place to do this, so... Hmm. Now I'm really wondering if we can turn these canisters into something that we can ship. 
because shipping carbon dioxide would not be the worst idea. Because then we'd have a way... Whoa, I pressed the wrong button. Then we would have a way to ship some carbon dioxide here in an already warm environment. This would create more oil for us. And we would have enough oil to start producing plastic in theory. I don't really have a lot of ways to get power here. Hmm. Nothing really special here. These rooms are always really confusing because they have this automation setup that doesn't actually do anything. Um, but yeah, there's no way we're going down here. 600 degrees. This will boil your, your blood, quite literally. Got a spiral of salt. There's really not a lot of room to work with here. Um, I just need to start digging and kind of figure out what else is here. Uh, which I guess is what we're doing right now. Maybe I'll send another miner over here so that they can help out. Uh, he is really happy building this toilet. He's like, finally! Alright, let me send another person over here. Let me grab the miner that I don't really have a use for. I guess we could transfer as many as we want and just kind of leave people here for maintenance. So, let's do that. Um, let's find somebody that's a miner, which... Smart people would put a hat on them to identify them better, but I just don't do that because I'm not being very smart. All right, you, Feta the Evil, you're going to go here, which I guess I could have just assigned you. Oh, it's recharging. I can only do it so many times. Okay. Okay, we'll do that later. Um, it's too bad I can't, like, freeze a duplicate and ship them through this. This is like shipping yourself through the mail instead of going on an airplane. Which is very illegal, by the way. Alright. And I wonder why. We do need sustainable oxygen here, so let's worry about that. Do we even have it researched? Do I need to research this now? Oh, it's not even this area. What am I doing? I need a battery also. There we go. Set this to open. That doesn't necessarily need to be closed. We do need to wall this off. I want to find a better material for it, but I just don't think I'm going to get it. So we're just going to insulate with sandstone, which is kind of a bummer. So let's do this, and then let's make them insulate down here. We'll have two layers, because two layers is always better than one. Okay... We don't really need these planter boxes. I'm not actually going to worry about that too much. I'm just going to make my own. Um, could probably just deconstruct these eventually, though. So getting over here is not very critical. Let's start setting up our areas to farm. And this is going to be... I'm, I've said this a few times. This is just going to be a mess for a little while. We'll get this figured out later on. Um, I don't know if I'm going to worry about bristle blossoms here. There's not a lot of natural water. So I don't think that's a good idea. I think that surviving off of dirt... Uh-oh. Trapped! Uh, okay, well, this is not good. Okay. Why did you do that? Can't you build this a little bit more intelligently? All right, this is going to be an experiment to see if we can get them out of here without dying. So we need sandstone ladder because that piece of sandstone is now falling in midair. It takes 100 per. There we go. That ought to get you out. No, do this first. No, cancel. You idiot. Okay, yeah, don't come down here. I don't want you to be here. Uh, should we print more? I'm gonna say no, because I'm scared. Alright. Okay, now hopefully they won't get stuck. Is this an egg? Why can't I click on it? I'm pretty sure it's a shine bug egg. I don't really care that much. Oh, man, this is crazy. A lot of natural gas. What is this? Oh, this is probably the other shipping area, which is fortunately separated by something that's not super hot, so we could get over there. I do need to eventually wall this off, too. I need a miner over here. Should have taken a miner. Okay, whatever. We'll get our other miner there as soon as the teleporter recharges. What's going on here? You guys idle? What you doing? Some maintenance. People are eating. Guess I could start building to one of these. So let's start doing that. 
Let's build this. Cancel. You deconstruct this. And this is eventually going to be a door that... I need to replace all this with insulated tile. Maybe I just shouldn't care that much right now. So let's do some of this. There we go. Then we'll get there eventually. Back to the other one. Start planting some mealwood, which is definitely a horrible food quality, but you know, when you're living on another asteroid by yourself, and you've had basically no preparation, you just gotta take what you get. I could build a more direct route here, I probably should. Because this is all kind of nonsensical right now. I still can't deconstruct these! No! Boo! Guess I could start deconstructing the back wall too to get extra supplies, rather than digging, but... Whatever. I need to keep an eye on this teleporter to see when it actually recharges. Oh, the receiver, I guess, doesn't need to recharge. That makes sense. What's going on here? Complaining about oxygen? Nah, you're fine. Stop complaining. Alright. We might as well start replacing all this stuff, too. So, because this is going to be a direct line into my receiver, um, I need to build another opening here. So let's do that. And then they can climb down there. They'll walk along this. Dig all this stuff out. And then we can replace all these tiles. Which it doesn't need to be this tall either. So I might as well just like build it now. Like I need to get rid of all this glass. Background buildings. There we go. Whoa. Okay. I didn't just, I didn't deconstruct that. That would have been bad. I don't think that's actually possible. So, in that case, I don't actually need to do any of this. So screw all that. Start mopping! I'm just going to close all this off with my own tile. So I'm just going to do something like this. As soon as they deconstruct the glass. What you guys up to? Building this out? Alright, copy. Let's do all this stuff. This is also starting to strain a new skill that has previously not been strained in this game before, which is basically multitasking in two different areas. Um, it's kind of been a thing, but for me it's like a bigger divide if they're in physically like different locations that look totally different. I have a totally different set of tools to work with. That's right, I'm calling my duplicates tools. We do need technology to get rid of carbon dioxide down here. That's going to be a problem as time goes on. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this idea, um, just from a design perspective, is the fact that because you'll be in such weird scenarios when you go to new asteroids, you're going to be forced to use tech you probably otherwise, was, otherwise would not use, like this carbon skimmer. Um, it's probably what I'm going to have to use, and I would normally not do that because I would normally just say, whatever, just blow it out into space. Although, I'll probably still do that. Never mind. But still, if I was really far away from the uh, from the top, I probably wouldn't be able to do that. So my point still stands, it's just not very valid for this case. Um, but yeah, getting out to the surface is something I definitely want to do here. It's all pretty cold. Can I make use out of any of this stuff? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's just keep going. Man, John is so happy. I guess he's just happy to be awake after being in cryo sleep for however long. Oh, he gets here with kind of like a grumpy operator. He's really uh, not difficult to please, apparently. Okay, so. I don't know where my great hall needs to be, but we still do need to build that. I don't want to build it down here. I don't want to build into this water. There's not a lot of great choices. Let's just build it up here, I guess. We'll start doing something like this. 
Man, this is so messy. We're getting there. Alright, we have hit time. Um, this is crazy, having to multitask on two different fronts. Uh, for sure. So let's go back to our home base, and uh, let's call it good here. Uh, I'm going to be back here fairly soon. I'm just going to be keeping notes as far as what has changed. Uh, and come back uh, whenever I have enough material. And whenever we get a little bit more stabilized on the other side. I don't know when that's going to happen, but this is definitely crazy. Uh, this is a totally different way to play this game. Um, so we're just going to keep learning about that. We're going to keep uh, getting out to some of these areas, getting our shipping network set up. Uh, yeah, I just don't know what to expect, and this is going to be very strange. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back here really soon with another video. If you're looking for other content, check out my other series that's going on right now, which is Pointless Challenges, which is from the base game, the vanilla version, where I have exceeded 100 duplicates, or at least met 100 duplicates in that run. As soon as we can possibly get it, so we're at cycle about 290 with 100 duplicates. So we're straining every possible thing we can to get duplicates out there. So check that out if you're interested in that. Uh, and I'll be back here with more videos of this run and of any other tutorials that you guys might want to see. Ranching is going to be next. But yeah, I'll see you over there in this other video soon. Have a good one in the meantime.